नमस्कार आई एम मैना भटनागर आई एम एस्ट्रोलॉजर ऑथर एंड ए टीचर आई हैव रिटन ए बुक कॉल्ड द सीक्रेट बेच ऑफ टैरो एंड एस्ट्रोलॉजी इन विच आई हैव कम्बाइंड द वैदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी विद द टैरो कार्ड्स सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक द कार्ड टेम्परेंस एंड माय रीडिंग वुड बी मोस्टली बेस्ड ऑन माय बुक द कार टेम्परेंस इज प्लेस्ड ऑन द नंबर फोर्टीन इन द सीक्वेंस ऑफ टैरो and it is a very beautiful card the magic of this card is that you seldom see this card so as we read along we'll also find many meanings and one of the reasons why we seldom see this card this card represents the angel archangel michael who stands for forbearance and mercy so in tarot which is full of symbolism it's important to look at each and every symbol because it is the symbols that help us discover the meanings in reading and understanding the deck the card so when we look at this card we find that there is an archangel standing this archangel michael bears a sun disk on his forehead he wears golden hair he has a halo behind his head he wears a white color robe which has a design of a square with a triangle in it he pours liquid from one cup to another and he stands with one foot in water and one on the ground look deeper and you find that there are two mountains rising almost like a pillar the theme of pillar is very regular in tarot and the sun shines brightly behind it you also see a river that flows endlessly from the mountains to the pond where she is and probably fills the pond as well the green is also extending almost endlessly on the left of him there are yellow li- lilies and uh, of course the big stalks of the plant the pond is full of water with ripples probably because he has just stepped his one foot in the water and caused ripples the wings he wears a red flaming red color wings this is a description of the cards he wears a sun disk because uh, march uh, michael is uh, somewhere similar to the planet sun and his uh, white colored robe stands for the purity the cups the two golden cups are carrying something now what is the liquid it could be masculine feminine energy it could be the passive and uh, or uh, active it could be the conscious and the subconscious energy which he is blending so what is it doing he is tempering and that's what the word temperance comes from in this deck in this card tempering means blending energizing and doing everything that is needed to bring the best out of anything to create something that suits the environment in simple words the iron smith keeps on tempering the iron ore and makes a tool suitable for the job life keeps on tempering us with giving us tough times trials testing to bring the best out of us to deal in whatever situation it throws us in so temperance is finding the right balance training us to walk the right path this is one of the another reasons why this deck in astrology this card is on just not number 14 in the sequence but in the astrological chart or in the natal chart it falls on the 9th house so let's go back to the symbols again the sun shines brightly the sun on his disk and the sun shining brightly why because the sun is also the karak of the ninth house because sun is the soul in the natal chart sun is the atma in the natal chart so one of the symbolism here 
the mountains that form pillars are the mountains of uh, or they also symbolize the pillars which you see uh, almost everywhere or many places in in especially in the major arcana because the pillars stand for severity and mercy and we just can't be all the time in mercy because there is always some sin that we carry and we can't be forgiven and we can't deal with severity all the time so one is always trying to find a center path the water of course the subconscious theme that runs through he is standing on land and water both a symbolism that he is trying to find a balance the key word of this card white of course is the purity and he himself is the archangel so i'm going to read a couple lines from my book that indicate the importance of the archangel michael here the archangel michael this is my book the secret bridge of tarot and astrology and i'm going to read some lines from that the archangel michael is an archangel in jewish christian and islamic tradition he is mentioned by the name in the book of daniel the book of jude and the book of revelation in which he leads god's army against satan's forces during his uprising roman catholics anglicans and lutherans refer him as saint michael saint michael was usually honored on mountain tops and high places and many famous shrines to him survive on those places and even in red or white deck he is in the open natural surroundings so this card as you can see speaks about the finding the balance tempering ourselves in astrology he stands on the ninth house and the ninth house stands for father the higher knowledge and dharma and dharma always says that we should find and walk the right path and that is what this angel also says as this is the blending of understanding the deck through the astrology because astrology was one of the secret things which the creators of deck kept hidden in them because they didn't want everybody to know and when i did this book i was very convinced that it is the astrology which is the secret of the tarot tarot is a symbol of course as the more you see the symbols the more you understand them you will find that they do say something say like the uh, the lilies in this the yellow is of course the color of wisdom which we see in the ninth house which we see with the uh, with the archangel michael as well but the lilies also indicate a birth a new surroundings so uh, these are few of the meanings of my from my book to read further please uh, read the book the secret bridge of tarot and astrology it is available as hard book by alpha, alpha publications and it is available as a ebook on amazon please visit my website mainabhatnagar.com and please like and subscribe my channel thank you very much for watching